the first day of summer camp, and you know what that means. The pool's open. Last one in's a rotten egg. Whoa! Whoa. Uh, actually, it looks a little bit cold. You know what, Ellie, on second thought, why don't you just jump in? Ladies first. Um, why don't we test it out together? Let's sip a toe in. Ah! Ooh, Ooh, that's definitely cold. cold. So cold. Hello there, summer campers. I'm glad I caught you before you dived in. Coach Rocco did a boo-boo and I forgot to turn on the pool heater. So no pool today, it's too cold. No, that's fine, Coach Rocco, don't worry about it. I'll just play some Roblox on my phone instead. What other activities have we got lined up, Coach Rocco? Well, I figured we could uh, decorate the Christmas tree. <laughs> no, uh, have a snowball fight. Oh, hey guys, check out this super cool new challenge. All I've heard about this, this is the scavenger hunt challenge. You're supposed to take three pictures of nature and then post on Instagram and you'll win an all-you-can-eat pizza party. An all-you-can-eat pizza party? Oh, we gotta do this challenge. Then I can show you all how many pieces of pizza I can eat. You just need to find these three things. A woodpecker, some long-lost treasure, and a beaver dam. And with all the forests and streams around here, we're sure to win! And we can use my cool flip phone! <laughs> Coach Rocco, I don't even think that phone has a camera. I sure it does. <laughs> Look. Boys and girls, if you want to help me, Coach Rocco, and Jimmy win this all-you-can-eat pizza party, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Come on, team, let's head out! We got some pizza to win! Yay! <laughs> Where's Jimmy? He's supposed to help us find this woodpecker. Last I heard from Jimmy, he was supposed to help us find the long lost treasure part of the challenge. Well, we shouldn't be separated. These woods are dangerous. You never know what you'll find. It's not too dangerous. I mean, summer camp is right over there. You don't know. There could be an angry gorilla waiting up there. Or a hippopotamus with its mouth wide open. I assure you there are no gorillas or hippopotamuses. Around. Giraffes. Giraffes? No giraffes. Bears! Well, maybe bears. <laughs> What's that? It's a bear! I don't think that's a bear. What is that? Uh-oh. It's... It's... What? Run! Uh, oh, no need to run, Ellie. It's a kitty cat. How are you doing? You shouldn't be out here all on your own. It's dangerous. <laughs> what gorgeous colors you have. Aww. Coach! Coach! Wait, Coach? Oh, I must have ran so far and so fast I must have lost him. I hope he's doing okay with that skunk. Coach is right. These woods can be a little bit dangerous. I should probably stay on the edge of the woods. Wait, do you hear that? Huh, sounds like somebody hammering a nail up a tree. Gotta check this out. <gasps> wow, look at that! It's a woodpecker. It's so pretty. Look at all its colors and that beak. That must be what that hammering noise was earlier. The woodpecker is using his beak to hammer into the tree to find insects to eat. Unfortunately, woodpeckers are endangered, which means there are far less now than there were before. That means we have to be responsible and make sure that we protect these little creatures. <laughs> and that means staying far away from them and only taking photos of them if we want to keep a memory of them. All right. Time to take this picture of the woodpecker before it flies away. Zooming in. Got it. Step one of the scavenger hunt complete. Ellie, Ellie, look what I found. Hi, Jimmy. Is that a metal detector? I call it a treasure finder. I tried to ask Coach Rocco to show me how to use it, but he's too busy playing with Stinky the cat. Stinky the cat? You mean Stinky the skunk? And Coach is playing with it? <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't figure out how this works. Well, I've seen Coach Rocco use this to find loose coins in the yard. Basically, all I have to do is turn these little knobs right here. There we go. <gasps> and when it beeps, <laughs> that's when you know you found something. Awesome. Did you find anything yet? Well, how about now? When it beeps, Jimmy. Anything? Are you sure it's working? Anything? When it beeps! Anything? What about now? Anything? Jimmy. Anything yet? Jimmy. Oh, come on, I thought I heard something. Anything? Jimmy, wait. You sure? Jimmy. Anything? What about now? What Jimmy! About now? Do you hear that? 
That means that there's something under here, and it could be long lost treasure. Treasure, here I come. <laughs> I'll come to Jimmy. We're rich, I tell you. They're jewels, Ellie, they're jewels. But this looks more like a girly bracelet, not treasure. Jimmy, that's my old bracelet from last year that I thought I'd lost. Oh my gosh, I was so sad when I lost it. This truly is long lost buried treasure. Quick, take a photo of it. All right, say cheese. Cheese? <laughs> awesome. Step two of the scavenger hunt complete. All right, well, you can keep your girly treasure. I'm off to find some big boy treasure. We're gonna be rich, I tell you. We can live like kings. But Jimmy, we have one last step of the scavenger hunt to do. Oh well, I gotta go do it by myself. Oh, with the help of you, Sparkle Squad. Yay! Next we have to find a beaver dam. Well, I know beavers like to build dams near water, so let's find a pond or stream nearby. Come on, let's do this. So this is the longest stream I can find on campgrounds. Hmm, beavers like to build their dams along streams, so this should be the perfect place. Mr. Beaver, where are you? Let me take a look. I think I see one over there. Yep, that's a beaver all right. It looks like he's finding sticks to build his dam. Did you know that beavers can hold their breath for 15 minutes underwater? That is longer than me, Coach Rocco, and Jimmy put together. They're so cool. Let's get closer. Oh, what's that over there? I think I see it. It's the beaver dam. Beaver dams are awesome. Firstly, because beavers use their big teeth to chop up small trees to make it. And it's a place to store their food, and it's a home for them to sleep in. <laughs> Gotta take a picture. Thanks, Mr. Beaver. Got it. That's one, two, three shots uploaded. And that means we won the scavenger hunt challenge. Yay! Oh, I'm so hungry for pizza, I gotta tell the others. <laughs> Ellie, there you are. You're not gonna believe this. Give me that. Ow! Oh, that's much better. Turns out my cat that Coach Rocco spent all day with wasn't a cat after all. It's really a skunk, and he really is stinky, too. Yeah, stinky allowed me to believe he was a cat all day, and then he had the nerve to spray me. I was sprayed and betrayed. <laughs> Today is a terrible day. To make things worse, I didn't find any buried treasure either. All I found was an old shoe. I guess that means we don't win the scavenger hunt, huh? Well, while you guys were getting sprayed and finding shoes in the yard, I've actually been the one completing the scavenger hunt challenge. You know what? It was pretty hard, but... You know what this means? Pizza! Now I can finally show you how many slices I can eat. Yeah! It just goes to show, when you're focused on your goals, you can achieve anything. But before mm. you can eat any more, I need you to do one more last thing. <laughs> Take a bath, please, especially you, Coach Rocco. Oh. oh, well I heard that when you get sprayed, you can take a bath in tomato sauce and that gets rid of the smell. So maybe if I take some pizza and rub it on myself, that'll, that'll help, right? Yes, I just leveled up and adopted me. Oh, wait till you see my new pet dragon. Good afternoon, Ellie and Jimmy. I said good afternoon, Ellie and Jimmy. Oh man, how'd I run out of Robux already? Could you lend me some so I can level up? Yeah, sure. Attention, Ellie and Jimmy, good afternoon. Sorry, Coach Rocco, we were just really into our game of Roblox. Too many video games. It's time you two do something in real life. And that gives me an idea for a challenge. Adopt me in real life. In real life? Instead of in Roblox? Yeah, just listen. You both get a pet for a whole day. 
just like an adopt me and you get to take care of it all day huh. here I have some pets for you <laughs> hello there hello there butters huh? you ready to meet your new mama Ellie huh? look at you, look at you. Come this way. Here she is. His name is Butters. Aw, I got a kitty cat. Hi, Butters. You're so cute. Oh my gosh. I need to get you out of there. Oh, hello, you cute little kitty cat. Thanks, Kojirako. I think I'm really going to like this challenge. See, real life ain't so bad after all. And Jimmy, I got just the pet for you. Oh, that's actually okay, Coach Rocco. I already have a kitty cat, just like Butters. He's a cat that lives outside and I feed him every day. I'll go get him. Hey, kitty. Oh, aren't you so cute? Do you want to meet Coach Rocco and Ellie? I bet you do. Oh, aren't you just the cutest kitty? You're the cutest kitty. Who's a cute cat? Coach Rocco, Ellie, meet Stinky the Cat. I call him Stinky because, well, sometimes he stinks really bad. Like, really, really bad. But he's so cute. Oh, look at him. Jimmy, are you sure that's a cat? Because it kind of looks like something else. Of course it's a cat, Ellie. Don't be silly. Look at it. He's got the, the white stripe down the middle and the cute little nose. And, oh, look at his tail. It's adorable. See? Want to pet it? Roar! Okay, boys and girls, if you want to take care of Butters and Stinky here with me and Jimmy, then make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Oh, bye, Stinky. Hey, where are you guys going? You're going to hurt Stinky's feelings. Uh-oh, Stinky. You're really living up to your name, aren't you? He's a good Stinky boy. <laughs> the first step of Adopt Me is to train your pet. And cats are really, really difficult to train most of the time, but me and Butters here are a great team. <laughs> He's almost like a dog. Right, Butters? <laughs> Let me show you our first trick. Come here, Butters. Give me a high five. Good job, Butters. That was the best high five ever. Now for our second trick, kitty kisses. What's better than being kissed by a little kitty cat? Come here. Mwah. And for our third trick, I even taught Butters how to play a video game. Check out these fish. Here you go, Butters. All right, training complete. Well done, Butters. Is that cat playing video games? Sure is. He's the cutest cat gamer around. Well, right, Butters? Well, you are a good trainer. I'm going to go see how Jimmy's doing with his pet. <laughs> and I'm going to teach you how to walk on a leash. You know, Stinky, not only is your old pal Jimmy the best Roblox player in the whole school, but he's also the best skateboarder, too. Let me show you one of my patented moves. Watch and learn, Stinky, because this one's called the Jimmy Skateroony. <laughs> Jimmy, what are you doing out here skateboarding? You're supposed to be training your pet. You know, Ellie taught her cat how to play video games. Video games? Oh, well, that doesn't matter, because I'm training Stinky to do something way cooler. He's going to be the first ever skateboarding cat. You mean that Scott, I mean cat is going to skateboard? I got to see this. Hold on a second. Let me get prepared. Go! All right, Stinky. This is our big moment. Remember everything that we trained for. I know you can do it. Just keep your paws on the board and go! Wow! I've never seen a skateboarding Scott, I mean cat before! You get an A++! What did I tell you? I told you Stinky's the smartest cat in the whole world. Ellie thinks she's gonna win this challenge, huh? Well, not if I have anything to say about it, and I do. And I say that Stinky's gonna be the smartest, greatest, most talented cat in the whole world! Or at least better than Ellie's cat, Butters. Now be careful with him. Don't hold him like that. Why? What's the... Stinky! Ah! Oh, you're doing so good. Bad Stinky. That's a very bad Stinky.
for the final part of the challenge, the checkup. And Butters is super ready. <sighs> Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Stinky. Hey, Ellie. Gee, I sure hope this vet gets here soon. Stinky's getting pretty cranky. Stinky, I already told you we can go back to skateboarding as soon as your checkup's over. Skateboarding. Thank you for coming into Dr. Rocco's Pet Hospital. <laughs> the final part of the challenge is the pet's checkup. So let's check these little cuties. Now, who wants to go first? Well, I think that I should go first. Because All right, and Ellie were... and Butters. There you go. There Let me you just go. check, look them over here. All right. Come along. Good luck, Butters. All right, Butters, now come up here a little closer. Let's check those chompers. All right. Oh, nice pearly whites, perfect teeth. You hear that, Butters? <laughs> you got perfect teeth. Let's look at these paws. Ooh, nicely manicured nails. And this fur is nice and fluffy. Tail has great form. Now let's check the pitter-patter of your heart there. Perfect heartbeat. Congratulations, Ellie. Butters is in perfect health. You have passed this challenge with flying colors. You get an A++. Awesome. I knew Butters would do so well. He's such a healthy, happy cat and my new best friend. All right, Butters, let's go learn how to walk on the leash again. Goodbye, Ellie. Well, that's it for today. Wait, what about Stinky? Oh, yes, uh, Stinky. <laughs> I almost forgot. Well, this is going to be fun. Just let me prepare. There we go. Let's have a look at you. See your teeth first, huh? What is that? Frosted pebbles? Have you been feeding this creature cereal? I told you, only real pet food. Now let's check his toes. Look at those nails. They're dirty. See this fur. His fur is sticky and icky. Have you been rolling around in slime? Now last but not least, let's check the tail. <laughs> Stinky, that's not nice. Say you're sorry to Coach Rocco. It's all right. I knew something like this might happen, so I got you a towel, Coach Rocco. Oh. Oh, I'm so okay. Funny. I'm okay. Just next time we use dogs. No cats allowed. <laughs> Stinky, I told you that's not nice. Now, if you keep doing that, there'll be no more skateboarding and no more Frosty Flakes either and no fruit smoothies and no ice cream sundaes for dessert. Actually... I don't want an ice cream sundae. You know what, actually? You're a good kitty. You can go skateboarding and sundaes for dessert. Does that sound good, Stinky? Ooh, I bet it does. Oh, you're the cutest cat. What's up, Sparkle Squad? I'm just setting up this checkers tournament for me and my friend Skylar. She's coming over today and it's gonna be so much fun. Just put in the last finishing pieces in a movie. Aw, Jimmy! Whoops, guess that spinneroony got a little bit out of control. Oh, there's my ball. Hey, Ellie, what you up to today? Wanna play some basketball with me? I got my whole day wide open. I'm actually waiting for my friend Skylar to get here. We're having a checkers tournament. Well, checkers? Why didn't you say so? This is perfect. I'll be the third player. Checkers is actually a two-player game, Jimmy. But if you have a friend of your own, you could bring them over for a giant checkers tournament. Hey, have you got any friends you want to invite over? Friends? Yeah, of course. Got loads of those. In fact, I have a friend coming over today. Yep, and he just so happens to be a checkers expert. Mm -hmm. So he'll be perfect for this tournament. In fact, he's not only one of the greatest checkers players in history, he's also one of the coolest kids in the whole world. So, you know, I think he'll be perfect for this. I think so too. He sounds great. I can't wait to meet him. Yep, he's my BFF. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Better go get him. Be right back. See you later. Oh, that Jimmy. Ah, cleaning day! My favorite day of the year. I get to clean, which is one of my favorite things, and I got no kids around to distract me. <laughs> Coach Rocco, Coach Rocco, Coach ah! Rocco! Oh. Oh. Man overboard! Man overboard! 
Jimmy, this better be good. I was just doing my favorite things. And uh, there's so much stuff to clean around here. Well, trust me, Coach Rocco, this is an emergency. Ellie's playing checkers. And she said that if I wanted to join the tournament, I needed to bring a friend along. The problem is all my friends are busy. So um, do you think maybe you could pretend to be someone younger for the day and be my friend so I could join the checkers tournament? Oh, I get it. You want me to play like I'm one of your school chums. That sounds like fun. And I have the perfect costume. Say goodbye to Coach Rocco. Hello to Jimmy's new best friend. <laughs> and we can get some chores done, too. Uh, well, let's not worry about the chores until we're done with checkers. Checkers first, chores later. But let's get you out of there. All right. All right. Oh man, how did I lose to myself? <laughs> hey Jimmy, is your friend over here yet? Let's get this tournament started. Well, you should be here any second now, yep. Hey wait, who's that over there? Is that your friend? Oh no, excuse me a second. <laughs> Silly Jimmy. Coach Rocco, what are you supposed to be? Ah, this is my costume, isn't it sweet? Coach Rocco, I told you to dress up like one of my classmates. You're wearing the same shirt that you do every day. Uh-uh, look, usually it says coach, but today it says Cody. Get it? Cody, you're BFF from school. Oh, brother, look at that hair. Coach, you gotta change into a different costume before Ellie sees you. Hey, Jimmy. Are you gonna introduce me to your friend here? Oh, I guess so. Ellie, meet Cody. Hi, nice to meet you, Cody. I'm Ellie Spectles. Uh, hi, I'm C C Cody. <laughs> Jimmy's BFF from school. <laughs> Don't worry if you forget my name because it's written on my shirt. Isn't that clever? Mm-hmm. Hey, Cody, you sure look familiar. Are you in any of my classes? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, you probably seen me in two of my favorite classes, uh, gym and lunch. <laughs> uh, I mean, science and uh, math. <laughs> so what do you think of that Coach Rocco? He's pretty cool. Huh? Uh, I think that's enough introductions. I love his pole cleaning skills. All right. Yeah, good. Good job, Cody. Anyway, we have a long day of activities planned, so uh, why don't we get to that? How about some check -ins? Oh, I know some really cool games. Games, come on, follow me! Uh, no, we're playing checkers first, Coach Cody. Come back! <laughs> wow, I wonder how long Coach Rocco can keep this up. This is gonna be an interesting day. <laughs> guys, guys, this way! I have so many games to show you. Now this one's my favorite. It's called cleaning the pool. You clean the pool and play the game at the same time. <laughs> I don't know about that, Cody. How about we just play checkers, you know, like we were supposed to? Wait, I want to learn how to play the game, Cody. See, she wants to play my cleaning games. Here, I'll show you. You just clean the pool and sing the song at the same time. Look, cleaning the pool is so cool. And now I got this bug. That means I get 20 points. <laughs> Yay! Cleaning the pool is so cool. Here, you cool. try. Cleaning the pool. Can I get this leaf? Yes, get that leaf. That's 30 points. Oh, <laughs> so many points. Yes, well done. <laughs> what else can I get? I'll get that stick there. That's 10 points. Oh, there. 10 points for the stick. Oh, yes, well done. Oh, got it. <laughs> this is super fun. Now I have so many cleaning games just like this. We could play all day. No, 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 no. Great game, Cody. But uh, how about we wrap it up and go play the checkers tournament like we were supposed to? You know what? I like this cleaning game. Do you have any more, Cody? Oh, I've got tons. Let me show you this way. Okay. <laughs> I love cleaning. <laughs> Rocco have been keeping this up the whole day? Actually, I can believe it. It's kind of a regular occurrence around here. Welcome to my <laughs> So what's next? Oh, I know, the cleaning the dishes game. No, no, 
No more cleaning. Cody, please, can we just do what we were supposed to do from the beginning and play checkers? Yep, I have the board all set up here. Who goes first? Uh, checkers, I've never heard of it. So what do you do? You move a piece and then you dust under D? Jimmy, I thought that your friend was a checkers expert. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Good one, Cody. Love that classic Cody sense of humor. Anyway, let's get to playing. I'll move the red piece here. Then I guess I'll move this piece here. Cleaning? I can't help it. It's so dusty. I just gotta clean it. No more cleaning. That's not the point of the game. Well, if you're not cleaning, what's the point of playing a game? The point of the game is winning. Winning is the point of the game. If you're not cleaning, you're not winning. I have a great game. Wait till you see this. Cody! <laughs> this is only just the beginning. You know, it's chore day, and that means Coach will not stop cleaning the house until it's spotless. You should have been there that one time. We were up in the chimney street, Here it and is. you were still... oh, no, not the forks, not the forks. Okay, now here's how you play. You take a piece of silverware, and then a rag, and then you see how fast you can polish it. Go! Oh! I love this game. Polish the fork. Me Let's too. do this. Well, I guess if you can't beat them, join them. I won! I can see myself in here! <laughs> <laughs>